our old production time with some of our previous companies was anywhere from nine to twelve months, and um, it's it's becoming increasingly difficult because the demand for the articles, it, with the timeliness of the information that's in them, more and more people need it quicker and quicker. So we we as publishers are up against the wall to say how can we roll this out faster. And we found that the best way that we can roll it out faster is to put more and more responsibility back on the editors and authors of these articles because we go by an old theory, garbage in, garbage out. If, you know, if a poor quality article comes in and we have to rush it through production, we're going to come out with a poor quality in, in product. And that does nothing but tarnish our reputation. And, you know, I told Mike that one of the things with a new journal that he has to have and this goes for Mike or any of our book series editors and we have roughly 60 book series um, and roughly 12 journals at this point and it grows every week we add on new book series and are going after new journals um, the number one thing I say to everybody is quality if 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 it's garbage material coming in don't accept it because it does nothing but hurt everybody um, so to answer your question directly, there is not a extremely fast way to turn around publishing material without having it be, uh, without jeopardizing the quality because it still has to go through copy editing. No matter how many times you look at an article or an outside copy editor or typesetter or proofreader looks at an article, at the end of the day, if in, if an outside eye, set of eyes doesn't take a look at it, there are going to be mistakes and there are going to be problems. And to me, I'd rather take a little more time and have it be correct than have problems with um, the material coming out. Our production time right now, we produce books as little as one month and we produce them as long as 13. That's been our longest book production time. Journals can range um, anywhere from a month in production to three months in production. If it's three months, the editors are up against the wall because they need to get the next issue in by the time that issue is rolling out. So um, web publishing versus uh, paper publishing. Web publishing, you know, in the early 90s, 90, 91, 92, there was a huge push by Elsevier um, with their Science Direct to um, have every publisher in the industry go to electronic publishing. Well, one of the problems was cost. And it's very expensive for small publishers or even medium and large publishers to develop uh, electronic product. The second problem was how do you control where the product is ending up? Although you have IP authentication, um, that's only one means of people accessing it what if people don't have all those gateways all the controls um, to get access to the electronic product or what if you allow them to download it or a university to download it and then all of a sudden the product is given out to everybody under the sun it's a it's a problem for publishers because it then affects our bottom line and so many publishers for the reason of cost as well as loss of dollars at the end of the day became skittish of going to a full electronic publishing. For associations such as USDLA or AECT, it's a fantastic um, opportunity for them because it allows them to move forward and show the entire academic community as well as the business professional community, hey, look, we're moving forward. We will you know, provide you with all your material electronically and many of them are nonprofit organizations, so they are not so concerned about what happens at the end of the day. Did we, you know, did we meet our costs on this project? Did we, um, are we able to give back to our editors? Um, and when I say give back to our editors, many of our projects, our book series are based on royalties and our journals are based on stipends. And if I can't have a journal grow, and be able to increase the stipend that I give to my journal editors each year, to me, it's a lose situation. It's not a win-win. 
And for us, the only way we can look at a project is how can we make it a win-win for all parties, whether it's the contributors involved, their names getting recognized, and how do their names get recognized? The product sells. Um, and for the editors, it's recognition through the product being globally distributed, um, as well as um, you know, used in classroom adoption or used in corporations for training of their employees. Um, 